Hey, what is going on guys? Oznaminator here. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to Planet Zoo and we're going to be jumping into the next adventure in the career mode, the Madagascan Simian Conservation Project. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Wow. It's beautiful. Welcome to Madagascar. It's quite the change of scenery from dreary old England, huh? <laughs> Apart from the weather, I suppose. They don't call these places rainforest for nothing. <laughs> the zoo you'll be working in is an ape sanctuary, where we're doing vitally important conservation work. Not just for apes, but for all kinds of species. But apes, well, apes are some of the closest relatives to humans there are. And yet, the way the world treats them is like... Well, very much like some of us treat our actual relatives. <laughs> anyway, that's why I'm determined that our operation here does some good. If we can all leave some part of the world in a better state than we found it, we'll have lived lives worth living. And speaking of states, I have a horrible feeling I left the house in a right one. <laughs> when I get back, I expect my life won't be worth living at all. <laughs> Okay. What do you think of Madagascar then? Bit warm for my tastes, to be honest. Anyway, this is Bernie's primate sanctuary. It's not just primates, though. We've got all sorts of animals. So why don't we go and have a look at some of them, eh? We'll start by taking a look at the red ruffed lemurs. They're the ones that look like they should be in a Shakespeare play. <laughs> Come on, let's head over to them. Okay. Right. Can I take control now, please? All right, over to here. Red ruffed lemurs are found in the rainforests of Masuala. That's in northeast Madagascar. They can actually live anywhere from 15 up to 25 years. Oh. See that, eh? Okay, when you're ready, let's go find our Bornean orangutans. Okay. The Bornean orangutan is such a marvellous creature. They're always a big favourite at any zoo they feature in. And they're also the biggest tree-dwelling animal on the planet. <laughs> Assuming you don't count any lions that got stuck up one. <laughs> oh, why don't you take a better look at them? Open up their information panel and go into the animal camera. Um. Oh, dear. It looks like we've arrived just in time. One of the habitat's barriers has collapsed. And wouldn't you know it, one of the bonobos has made a run for it. We'll need to catch them. But before we do, we should box up the other bonobos to stop them escaping too. Okay. Select the habitat boundary to bring up the habitat information panel. Good. Now open the animals tab. And click on box all animals to box up the remaining bonobos. Okay. Now, we'll need a vet to recapture that escaped bonobo, but it seems our last one left to do some research in the wild. Not an ideal situation. So, no. we'll need to hire a replacement, sharpish. Go into the zoo section, and then into the staff management area. You can find all of your staff in here, but there's no time to go looking at their particulars at the moment. Hire a vet! Great, now let's deal with our escapee before they can cause too much havoc. Use the animal alert to jump to the escaped bonobo. And then click on the call vet button to call the vet over to capture it. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, that's a relief. <laughs> so while the vet deals with our bonobo friend, let's go fix up their habitat so they can't escape again. Head back over Oh my there. god, tranquilizer dart and everything. Oh! Okay. Let's leave that. Right, we want to As return you can back here. See, the barriers collapsed. Someone's taken their eye off the ball, obviously. Let's get this one replaced. Select the barrier and then we'll edit it. Delete the broken section of barrier and replace it with a brand spanking new one. Good. Now Kay. that we've done that, we need to make sure to add climb proof barriers to the top. That way the bonobos won't be able to climb out. Just make sure you've got the correct piece of barrier selected when you do that. Okay, this okay, section so go here. go to the options section and select which side the climb-proof barrier needs to go on. And don't get it wrong. We're more worried about bonobos climbing out than guests climbing in. Nicely done. 
And I think it's high time we unbox those bonobos, wouldn't you say? <laughs> the poor mites will get sad if we leave them in there for too long. Select Kay. the habitat barrier to bring up the habitat information panel again. And then open the animals tab. I'm already one step ahead of you. Turns out that as well as the old vet leaving, the zoo's mechanics did too. We'll need to hire a couple of new ones so we can help stop any more breakouts. You see, mechanics do all sorts of helpful things around the zoo, but one of their most important jobs is taking care of the habitat barriers. <laughs> Without mechanics around to repair them, the barriers will crack, crumble and fall down. And before you know it, we'll be overrun with escaped animals. Go into the zoo section and then into the staff management area again. Hire a mechanic and then click on a path to place them in the zoo. Perfect. Oh, gosh, we have been busy, haven't we? Good work there. I'm off for a cuppa. Oh, I think Bernie wants a word with you. Oh, I hear you had a bit of an issue with an escape bonobo. The main thing yep. is that you dealt with it swiftly. And more importantly, without the animals stealing someone's clothes, putting them on, and then walking out of the front gate. <laughs> now, you've probably noticed that there's already a building where I want you to build the research center. Don't worry. You see, the building that's currently there is actually a hollow shell. So we're able to place our new building inside of it. If you select the research center for placement and then hover over the shell, you'll see that it asks if you want to add the research center to the existing building. Okay, so okay. we just want... Click to add it to the building. Oh, but that won't place it in just yet, though. First, we'll need to rotate our research center so it automatically connects to the path when we place it. I think it's connected to the path, isn't it? Right. Splendid work. Now that we have a brand spanking new research center, we can give our vet something to do in there. Oh, by the way, it's worth noting that the vets will only do research when they're not required to do any other jobs. That said, you can change what jobs a vet does via their information panel. But let's not worry about that just now. So, let's get our vet researching ring-tailed lemurs. Go into the zoo section and select vet research. Here, you can see a list of all the animals present in your zoo, and also all the potential diseases that can occur. Now, drag and drop your vet onto the ring-tailed lemur to start their research. All right, let's get going. Actually, thinking about it, I'm not sure we've got any education boards or speakers by the lemur's habitat. Let's head over there and add some, so our guests can learn all about the furry little delights. First off, let's pop down two education boards. Place them on the habitat barriers at a height that guests can see, or, if you like, pop them down on a stand. One there should be good. And then perhaps another one. Just... Actually, we'll put it over here. Okay. Now that they've been put into position, we have to tell them what animal to display information about. Select okay. one of the education boards to bring up its information panel. And from the drop-down list, select Ring-Tailed Lemur. Although I'm sure that last part was obvious. When you link an education oh, that's a so board sign there. to an animal, you need to make sure that said animal is close by. If it isn't, the guests will get confused and won't learn as much. Okay, now that we've done the education boards, let's pop down a pair of speakers. Speakers play audio to the guests so they can learn while they look at the animals, instead of having to go through the laborious process of reading. Oh, one thing to bear in mind is that it's important not to put the speakers too close together. If you do, the guests won't be able to understand what's being said. Okay, so let's put one at the information sign. We'll put one down below. And one up by the other sign as well. Just put it on top. Now we simply need to link the speakers to the ring-tailed lemurs. Just like you did with the education boards. Okay. Is that the speaker there? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Oh, it's 
worth remembering that education boards and speakers both need power to work. They won't do much good without it. Ooh, it looks as though our vet has completed their research on ring-tailed lemurs. Okay. We'll need to collect the results. We can do that by clicking on the notification or by going back into the vet research area. Okay, research completed. You've discovered three items. Rewards. Just so you know, vets will continue to research an animal even after successfully completing a research level. <laughs> I suppose when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. Well, now that we've enriched the lives of our guests, let's enrich the lives of our ring-tailed lemurs. Okay. Some animals, like lemurs, will have a climbing need. That means they have a requirement for a certain amount of climbing space. And you can fulfill that requirement by building them a climbing frame. Let's find out how much more climbing space our lemur friends need, shall we? Okay. Select one of them and bring up their information panel. Next, click on the Terrain tab. Ah, now, as you can see, the lemurs need quite a lot more climbing space. But as it happens, I've already got a climbing frame blueprint built for you. So you can either pop that down or build one yourself from scratch. By the way, it's not always just climbing needs that you have to worry about. Other animals might need a certain amount of water in their habitat so they can go for a swim. <laughs> they certainly do keep us on our toes. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, that's a great climbing frame for them. They're going to absolutely love it. Do you know what would make them even happier, though? Nicer food. But that's true of all of us, though, isn't it? You can unlock better quality food for animals through research. Luckily, we've already unlocked some for the lemurs, so all that remains is to make sure they get served it from now on. Let's bring up the habitat information panel by selecting the lemur habitat. Okay. So we need to click on the habitat door, is that right? Yep. Now select the animals tab. There we go. As you can see, we can set the food quality in here. Ah. Just click on the drop down menu and select grade two food quality. Grade two food quality. My mouth's already watering. Okay. So, a new climbing frame and better food. Oh, you've really spoilt those lemurs rotten. <laughs> now, I think it's time we looked at one of the zoo's most important responsibilities. Releasing animals into the wild. You see, when we feel an animal is ready, we can release them into the wild. But what makes an animal a good candidate for release? Well, their age is an important factor. I mean, we can't release an animal that's a juvenile, just as we can't release one that's gotten too old. They'll also need to be fertile. After all, the idea is to repopulate the wild, so the best candidates will have a high fertility gene. And together, the age and fertility of a candidate will determine how many conservation credits we'll be rewarded when we release them. Oh, okay. Now, conservation credits are vitally important. They're the lifeblood of your zoo, because earning them allows you to adopt even more animals. And what's more, the animals you can adopt will be of a higher quality. So, with that in mind, let's pop over to our orangutan habitat. Okay, I'd like you to find Ageng, the Bornean orangutan in the habitat, and select him, please. You can either click through each orangutan in turn, or select the habitat barrier, go to the animals tab in the habitat information panel, and find him in the animals list. Okay. Release to the wild. Wow. Lifespan remaining, four out of five stars. Everything looks good there. I know it's sad to see him go, but he'll be happy out in the wild. And he's a wonderful candidate for release. Young, strong, and fertile. Excellent work there. You've definitely got potential, you know. Okay. Ah, I see you've been doing some homework. Although, it hardly seems like work when you're learning about something as adorable as a ring-tailed lemur. I imagine I'd have got much better grades at school if there'd been less algebra and more aldebra. Tortoises. Okay, so far we've done a lot of work with habitat animals, but now it's time to learn all about exhibit animals. Let's build a brand new exhibit. 
I've marked an area for our new exhibit. How about we head over there? Okay. Lovely. Now let's build a new exhibit in the gap that's been left. Just add it to the building like we did with the research center earlier. Then pop it into the gap. Okay. Perfect. The next thing to do is adopt an exhibit animal to go in there. How about a healer monster? Open up the exhibit oh. trading section and adopt one. Just as we do with habitat animals, we need to send the healer monster to the exhibit. Click on the exhibit to send it there. When you send an animal to an exhibit, it'll automatically be given the correct setup. But that doesn't mean it's completely ready for them. So let's finish it off. We'll start by adding some enrichment items. Click on the exhibit to bring up its information panel. Good. Right. Now click on the layout tab. Oh, well, it looks like we've only got the enrichment level one items unlocked at the moment. Never mind, let's turn on at least one of them for the healer monster. As I'm sure you know by now, you can unlock more enrichment levels by having one of your vets do some research. Now we'll also need to set the temperature and humidity in the exhibit. These okay. are vitally important for keeping our healer monster happy and comfortable. Click on the climate tab. Here okay. you can see the healer monster's desired temperature and humidity. You can change both of these by adjusting the dials below. Make sure it's going to be nice and cozy. Doesn't really tell you what that small little gap is, really. That's the ticket. And the last thing we need to look at is setting up the different windows. So click on the Windows tab. You can edit and customize any of the windows on an exhibit. A window can be closed and blank, or have a two-dimensional background, or even a three-dimensional background on it. Why don't you have a play around with the options? There's also an exhibit education board. Pop them down near your exhibit to teach your guests about them. Let's add one now. Okay. Education board. Now, now, I don't want it to align the surface. That is not where I wanted it. Let's go into advanced move and move it down. Education boards and speakers we put down for the ring tailed lemurs. You'll need to link these to the healer monster. Go on. Lovely stuff. Now our guests can learn all about our venomous friend here. Right, now, I've got a bit of a big job for you. I need you to increase the number of species in the zoo. You'll probably want to adopt both habitat and exhibit animals to do so, which will mean building plenty of new habitats and exhibits for them. Go on, off you pop. I'll okay. I'll in with you when you're almost done. Right, so, we've got a little bit more of free reign here. So we want some new species to look at. This is all staff area down here. That's taken up. I like how they've hidden the uh, solar generator in there. Handy. Okay. Looks like guest services. Got some hippos down there. Is there anything in here? Yes. That's our ring-tailed lemurs. That's the entrance. Hmm. Where are we going to possibly put in another exhibit? What have we got in here? Well, we could expand this out and add down another exhibit here. So let, let's let's edit this building. And let's duplicate it. Just there and there. 
let's duplicate that as well. And there. Let's move this. Let's delete that. Exit. This can be moved out to here. And we'll rotate it. You know what? We just move it like this. And move this as well. Put it there. Right, back into editing this. And I think we're just going to duplicate that. And I'm pretty sure it's just like that is how that's made. And then we'll put down another exhibit. Actually, it's under facilities. Hmm. Obstructed. This is obviously on the wrong side. And there's people in the way, but... Excuse me, people. Stop walking that way. Oh, it's, is that because of the path there? If I remove that. There we go. Okay. I assume that's going to work now. There we go. Right, I think we're done with that. And now, let's go to the exhibit trading. What do we have here? That is... Okay, let's... Let's have a look at what we've got here. Let's go with the Goliath frogs, I think. There we go. And let's go into here, into the exhibit, and it wants different temperature. So it wants it a little bit lower temperature. Perfect. Layout, we need to research, so let's go into the zoo. And let's drag you onto the Goliath frog. And we'll get that sorted out. Now let's put down uh, super education. And let's select the Goliath frog. Okay. So, we need two new species. Hmm. Let's see what we've got available. The animal trading. Got some beds, tape hairs, bonobos. We've already got them. Orangutans, hippos, lots of hippos, mandrills, red ruffed lemurs, ring tailed lemurs, and the chimpanzees. Now, if we look at what animals we have, we've got the iguana, bonobos, orangutans. Cockroach, Goliath frog, hippos, mandrills, red rough lemurs, and rig tailed. So, the only thing we don't have is the tape hairs. So, I'm assuming this area over here might be good. Or even down here, this could be a good spot for them. So, let's build ourselves a barrier. Now, if we look at those, let's have a look here. Kind of want. Nope, that's not what I want. Hmm. 
let's go with adopt this one and this one right now let's build our barrier actually I want to see can I see the Zoopedia about them please they require 430 square meters and they require water and grade 2 fence greater than 1 meter so let's use let's use the wood logs and let's see about placing it in over here I think we're going to raise up the land here a bit so let's just remove these trees here and let's go terrain and let's just raise it up a bit and then we'll use the flatten flatten to surface just flatten that out a bit like so perfect now let's go into barriers and put down our it's not where I wanted it put this down see how big that is we need to put in a habitat gate like so so that is 468 so that'll be good if we move those guys in now I need to put in a staff path I need to reconnect that with somewhere else and I don't know where the staff area is over here. It's all the way over here. So let's bring down our path here. Staff path. Let's bring it down a bit. Possible. Hmm, maybe I should put the gate here instead. Edit barrier, let's move that. Barrier gate can go over here. And path. Remove that end. There we go. So that'll get them into there. Now I want to edit the barrier, select the entire thing, and just make it a bit higher. That should be all right once the animals get in here. Where are they? Delivery is scheduled. And delivery is scheduled. Fantastic. They're on their way. Going to put in another small exhibit, I think. Let's remove this path here. Nope, let's undo that. Let's put in. Nope. Path, remove that path. Let's go into here. Like so. 
And then we should be able to add down another one here. Perfect. And let's put in something in there. Let's adopt one of them and send it to that. My, my, you have been busy, haven't you? Yes. Splendid. But now that you've adopted all these lovely new species, we need to make sure they're nice and happy. Okay. So let's get the average welfare across the zoo nice and high, shall we? And by we, I mean you. Yes, on, of course. Now they want a bit of water. Let's just create a spot over here. And water. There we go, that's enough water. Oh, that's not exactly what I wanted, but it'll do. Now it wants a bit more soil, so let's get into the terrain. Let's just pause it for the moment. Terrain painting. Let's add a little bit of soil and remove some of this long grass. I think we'll have their shelter over here. Let's add a bit more soil down here. We've got a bit too much soil now, so let's just put back in. Yep, there we go, that's good. Now, hard shelter, so let's go into habitat, beds and shelters. I think we'll place this in here, and we'll just place it maybe just there. There might be good. And I think what I'll do is I'll raise up the land to meet that. Maybe I can't. Probably because of the water. That'll be alright. Um, does that count? Yep, there we go. That's got that sorted. Enrichments, they need some plants. So let's get into nature. And we want to filter to tropical, temperate, and grassland. And south continent, we want South and Central America. Let's put in some water lilies. Be nice if they f sat on the water. There we go. And maybe some over here. Maybe just a couple. There we go. And let's put in some banana palms. And maybe a nice big tree here. There we go. Uh, they can sort of see. I think we need to adjust this a bit better. Maybe we could bring some stairs down here and they could come around the back, maybe. Or just lower this, start these stairs a bit earlier. Yeah, oh, but we can't really because of that. It's okay, it's only temporary. When we go into building our own zoo, we'll be able to control the layout a bit better. So they're okay now. Now, research. We were doing research... We're still waiting on that research. So, we need to get to 90%. We're at 79%. Let's go to animals. Sort by welfare. Now, you. This is what I just put in, isn't it? Okay. I didn't actually... Let's click on the that going to here let's add in a bit more of that we need to bring the temperature down there bring the humidity down and just play that so that it decreases your welfare's jumped back up that's good where are we at now 80% right next you the ta the taipairs we need, completely forgot about 
food, habitat, food and water. Let's go nutrition. Oh, what's happened there? Oh, he's injured. Oh. Let's put in a large food tray. And enrichment. Let's see, for species. There's nothing for you yet. Because I don't think we've done sufficient research. So, let's get the research onto there. It's almost finished, so that'll be good. And everything else is looking good. Coverage, we've lost a bit of coverage. So let's put in some more. Let's go back to... Tropical, temperate, grassland, continent, south central. Put this tree in at the back here. If I put that outside, is that going to count as coverage? Yes. How much do you, coverage do you want? Or maybe it's that area there. I'm not sure what's going on. That coverage says 59%, but the thing's at zero. I don't know. Enrichment. Oh, it might, might help if I went all. So let's place this in. Rubbing pillar. Why is that obstructed? Small bowl. Here we go, and a sprinkler. Perfect. Large barrel feeder. Now, how are you on temperature? I believe you're fine. Social, you need a bit more space. Okay, so let's expand the habitat a bit then. How are we on the... 81%? We're getting there. Welfare, let's sort by welfare. Just the... In transit, good, your welfare's back to where it should be. Social, animal has severe social welfare issues. Space. Okay, I think I need to make this a bit bigger. So let's expand it. Barriers. Let's just go here. Let's just make it a bit wider. Because if we look at that... Yeah, you haven't got enough now. Because we've been taking up so much space... Edit barrier. Select this section here and just delete it. Disrupt. Disrupts what? Oh, the lake placement. Okay, let's remove the water then. And we'll come back to that. Head at the barrier. Remove that. Right. So let's just head at the terrain a bit. Kind of flatten that area there so it doesn't come into effect. And then we can lower this down and add a bit more water. Water. There we go. How's that, guys? Your environment. Still... Is that too much coverage?
I don't know. But you seem better. Your terrain is a little bit... Let's have a look at your terrain again. We need to remove some of that long and add a bit more short. Maybe we need it's not exactly sitting great, but does that help? There we go. All right, you're looking good. So let's go back to the Zoopedia. Sort by welfare. What's wrong with this one? Stress. An animal is stressed and trying to hide. Oh, you can go hide under there. That's okay. That's good. Right. Bonobos. What seems to be your problem? Enrichment. You don't have any enrichment items. Okay. Habitat. Enrichment items. Fruit spike tree. They for you. Large barrel feeder. Oh, I'm using the wrong thing. We need species bonobo. Do you have climbable space? Yep. Enrichment musical keyboard instrument. Okay, a sprinkler. go perfect that should increase your what does that symbol mean welfare 61 oh unbox all animals there we go Surely that's got to be close now. 88%. Great. You need a bit more layout. Your humidity. Still a bit too high. Don't know why that's getting boxed up. Go species. We said it's a search box here. Um, you are the red ruffed lima. Uh oh, what did I do? Let's remove that. Let's put down this somewhere else. Why is it making so much of a difference? Now you want toy enrichment. Cardboard box, as you do. Okay. Job there. there we go. You should be proud of yourself. Not only have you expanded the zoo and kept the animals as happy as Lanny, but you didn't bankrupt us in the process. Amazing. Fantastic. We've finally completed the Madagascan Simian wow. Conservation Project. Well, you've certainly transformed the zoo. I barely recognize it. A wonderful new exhibit, some fascinating new species, and you've done wonders for the animals' welfare by enriching their habitats. <laughs> Who doesn't love playing with a three-foot-wide soccer ball, huh? 
I mean, other than professional soccer players. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't easy, though. I expect money was tighter than a possum's pouch. Plowing all those funds back into the welfare of the animals doesn't make running these places a picnic. Although, it does make me feel a little less guilty about how much our gift shops charge. <laughs> no, as far as I'm concerned, the only reason to run a zoo is to help animal kind. Sadly, it appears some other people have far less noble goals. Okay. Well, there we go. That's the second chapter in the career mode for Planet Zoo completed. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to drop a like. Feel free to leave your thoughts down in the comments section below. If you'd like to see more Planet Zoo and other gaming and modding content, don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified on when I post a new video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time.